You're watching Breakfast on Sky News. Donald Trump has beaten Nikki Haley in her home state of South Carolina, putting him on course for the White House race with Joe Biden. Despite that, though, Haley says she is going nowhere. Well, let's talk about this to Republican strategist Amy Tarkanian. Amy, good to see you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Just bring us up to speed on what happened overnight. A bit of a procession for Donald Trump and a bit of a bit of a ball smack in the face for Nikki Haley. Well, it, it was not a, a surprise, actually, because the polls have been pretty spot on uh, to some extent. And we knew that coming into today's election that Nikki was actually um, poised to lose her own state. Now, you also have to keep in mind that the current governor, um, one of their uh, congressional leaders, Nancy Mace, as well as U.S. Senator Tim Scott, who is hoping to be uh, part of the shortlist for VP, um, is also from South Carolina and they endorsed Donald Trump. Um, so she had quite an uphill battle, uh, but she still performed slightly better than anticipated. Um, they're still counting the votes. Um, they are not a winner-take-all state. They are a proportional state, which means that the delegates will be divvied up according to um, the locations. And so they're still still waiting to hand out all of the delegates um, from today's election. And so uh, it's, it's not the end for her. She's made it very clear that we do need to have another option, that we... Um, that we are a democracy and the fact that she received 40 percent she did say of course it's not 50 percent which means she didn't win but she did receive 40 percent and that's that's not something to ignore that i think is, is pretty telling that there are a number of people out there who are still not happy with the possibility of a rematch What's the plan then, Amy, for Nikki Haley? We saw some of the pictures there and the smile is still firmly on her face. Is that just grinning and bearing it? Or is there a glimmer of optimism as Super Tuesday approaches uh, the week after next? I think that there is a glimmer of optimism as long as she continues to have some kind of momentum where the donors will continue to pour funding into her campaign to get her through Super Tuesday, that of course is going to be the make or break uh, scenario. Uh, the 2,429 delegates that are allocated by the Republican Party, uh, you do need to have the majority in order to become the nominee, which means 1,215. On Super Tuesday, which you just mentioned, which is March 5th, a third of those, 874, will be allocated. That will actually, I think, be the deciding factor on whether she should continue or not. She's made it very clear that she wants to see it all the way through to the very end. But I think Super Tuesday should probably be the deciding factor. But I mean, in seeing it all the way through to the very end, I mean, it's almost inevitable that it's going to be Donald Trump on the ticket, taking Joe Biden as well. Of course, he's breezed through. Uh, primaries too and so it's going to be them going head to head so what's the long game for Nikki Haley just is there a chance she could be a running mate here or is she playing to some other <laughs> strategy no I, I think she's also made that very clear that uh, she is not going to be part of the short list uh, of possibilities for VP. Um, the president has not been very kind at all. Uh, even though she was his UN ambassador and was very successful, um, he has made her life extremely difficult, number one. But number two, he's not been kind. He's called her stupid. He's called her a bird brain um, because she was infringing upon uh, his his lead um, and he did not appreciate that. So he has not been very statesman at all. Well, look, he, he said unpleasant things about people before and then said nice things sure. when, they've, when they've lost and moved out of the way. Uh, let's focus on Donald Trump, though. The momentum seems to be there, certainly in the Republican race. But what about overall? Where is he in the polls as, uh, as the autumn hoves into view? And that's, I think, the, the biggest problem. So if you're looking at any polling right now dealing with the general election head to head between he and President Biden, it's a nail biter. And there is, he's anywhere within one or two percent in majority of the polls, either up or down. Where Nikki Haley, if you have a head to head poll in the general, and this is where she continues to uh, spread the message of his chaos and toxicity that surround him, is the fact that in a general head to head, she's upwards of 18%. Um, in, in favor of uh, beating 
President Biden. So that's the message that she hopes to have resonate as she goes through Super Tuesday. Amy, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed with that. Appreciate it this morning. Thank you.